On Sunday, we talked about the peace of God and what that is. And as we've been studying through Philippians, Philippians 4, 7 speaks into that. It says, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We talked about a lot of the different aspects of the peace of God and why it's so impressive. But we have to know what it is. The peace of God is something that God provides for us, and we defined it this way, that it's a quiet confidence about ourselves that he gives us, regardless what it is we're up against. And so you know some people like that. I hope you know what I mean. You know people like that, that they've demonstrated this quiet confidence when they've been up against it, and you're sometimes scratching your head wondering, how are they getting through this? How are they managing this? My friend was one of those people. I sometimes question, how are you doing so well in the midst of this? I met her back in 1994, and I wouldn't have known it unless someone told me that she was battling cancer. In fact, she battled cancer for some 14 years. You wouldn't have known it because she didn't talk about it. She didn't complain. She smiled. She was upbeat, very active in the ministry here of the church at Chapel Hill, uh, teaching Sunday school, always part of our choir. Um, just, just one of those people that you wanted to be around because she was so um, interested in you and your life and wanted to know how she could pray for you and all those different kinds of things. But life wasn't easy for her. Um, she, she struggled in, in, in many respects. And they had one child uh, at home, her and her husband, and he had some issues, some problems that he faced. And um, so that was hard for a period of time and they worked through that together. And as she was going through her cancer, uh, we learned out of the blue that her husband had leukemia. Um, never once thinking that he would pass away before she, she would. And that's exactly what happened. It was only a, a few months after he was diagnosed with leukemia that he died. And through all that, she continued to have and demonstrate that peace of God. That she, she never once questioned God. She never once was down. Yes, she was sad that she had lost her her husband, her spouse, but um, she just kept moving forward. And it was, it was impressive of what she had. And Carla was one of those people that it didn't matter what she was up against. And I'm sure there were other things I wasn't aware of, but she didn't let those things pull her down. And I believe it had everything to do with this peace of God that it didn't matter because she knew she was okay. She was in God's care that God was her father and I'm, I'm, I'm his child and it's going to be okay. Um, I, I just think about her life and how, how does someone display that peace and get to that point and I think about the peace that I'm going to share now is was her prayer life. She was constantly praying, constantly praying for herself, some yes, but her family and for her son and for her husband and for uh, our church and for me. She would tell me often, oh I pray for you Steve. Um, she was always praying, and she and some other ladies would get together once a week, and uh, they had this group called uh, Moms in Touch, and they would pray all, all over all our schools here in Howard County. It was, I was so impressed by that. The way and the reason that she was the person that she was was because Christ was in her life, so she had that peace of God. But she also depended upon him. She trusted him. And as we've been studying through in this series and rejoice and looking at Philippians, we know we're to rejoice in him and we're to pray about everything. And one of those things that God gives us in the midst of all that is a peace. A peace. A peace that only he can give. That regardless what we're up against, we're going to get through this. So I want to encourage you, wherever you're at today, whatever you're struggling with, that you can have God's peace and he can help you through that you can have that quiet confidence to make it through whatever it is you're facing today.